A couple of weeks ago, Google made the Nick collection completely free. Now you might have downloaded that and installed it on your computer, but you might not know how to use it with Lightroom. And I'm going to walk you through how you can actually use Silver Effects, one of the Nick collection, as a simple part of your workflow and how to actually edit with Silver Effects really quickly and easily right from Lightroom. If you've taken my Lightroom class, you know that I actually use Lightroom as the in and out place for everything I do with any photographs. So right now I'm going to take my trusty A7 and actually import a photo just for this test. And you'll notice that the catalog sitting in the back is actually a simple test catalog that I use for um, importing photos for headshots primarily and tethering. So right now I have put my card inside of my um, of my computer and I have things set for an import. So let's go to import and I'm gonna say well I'd like to bring both these in as DNGs and, and set the destination uh, but if you've taken my class you know all about the import uh, settings. So right now I have two photos that I just imported. So let's take a look at one of them and we'll see my daughter is sitting right there and the other. So we'll pick one of these two photos out I'm going to do some developing really quickly. So, go to develop module. And we'll crop. So, I'm actually hitting the keyboard commands, but I'm show, showing where they're at on the computer. And let's crop this just a tiny bit to help the situation out a little bit, help the, the composition out. And I'm going to bring back a little bit of the shadows, just a tiny bit. That's probably about there. Now, to actually get to Nick, and we're going to use Nick Silver Effects, but it would actually work for any of the Nick products. Um, we're going to actually do something very similar to how we would edit in Photoshop. Realizing that I didn't have my mouse actually set up. Let's try this again. So what we're going to do to export this is actually do a right click or a two finger click if you're on a Mac. So let me try that right click right now. And we're going to actually do a edit in. And you'll see that one of my first choices is Photoshop. But now, since we've installed the full Nick collection, we have all of these extra options. So I'm going to select Silver Effects Pro 2. And that'll be regular left click. And how do I want to actually bring this in? is going to be file format, it'll be a, T a TIFF, you'll see we have some other options on there. And I'm actually going to increase this just a tiny bit to 300 pixels per inch or dots per inch. And that's how I would uh, keep it for the future, just in case I would like to print it. Alright, and then I'm going to click edit. Now we're going to export it out to the NIC plugin. And you're going to see that pop up in the window here. Now there's going to be a bunch of presets that we can use and you'll see those listed to the left right here. And we can try a couple if we like. A little darker, a little more bright. And there's actually a nice group of these in there that you can actually experiment with. Some frames on there, um, some sepia tones. Uh, but as many of you know, I like to be in full control. So let's go back to a simple setting. Now, you're going to notice there is a whole mess of different uh, different settings here on the left. And the nice thing is you'll be able to play with those um, and see which is to your liking. Now, let's say I would like to add a little bit more contrast and a little bit more structure. So I'm going to do those on the right hand panel, uh, very similar to the basic panel in Lightroom. You're going to actually be doing adjustments across the full screen, not solely the, um, the uh, spot. You can actually do selective adjustments in this section and we actually can add some control points so this would be how you would add. So selecting control point and then clicking here and let's increase the brightness a bit on this part and we can increase our control point size or change its location. So let's do here, increase the brightness a little bit more 
and you'll see her side of her face actually increase or the brightness actually increase so let's uh, bring that down now the color filters are kind of neat a neat, neat piece so this is where you can play with how those effects actually get applied to your photo um, on skin tones I tend to use red yellow or orange and now one of the final things we can actually do is select a film type which is really cool and one of my actual favorite um, Nick tools is called analog effects and that lets me actually pick a camera type and such um, but we'll leave this on neutral Bump the contrast a little bit let's check out some finishing adjustments we'll leave the toning okay but we'll do a light vignette let's see which is gonna be good that looks about my style and I am just about done so right now I'm gonna hit save and it's gonna go back into Lightroom now unlike Lightroom where these adjustments are uh, able to be moved back and forth they are in Photoshop by the way they're actually uh, plugins um, but right now I'm gonna have two photos if I look at my settings or my grid so if you take a look at this is the first original photo and this is the second one and this is our finalized photo and this is what I would actually be using and we can go on with our Lightroom workflow from here exporting it if we like um, but it is a full size and we um, we would have to actually build some other options into it if we wanted to I hope that helps you out with Nick color effects and you guys will actually be able to um, check out things, play with it a little bit, and now that it is free, you can actually download it for nothing. Um, if you have more questions about Lightroom or on the Nick collection, you can actually look at my website at GiovanniArroyo.com, and I will be linking to that uh, in this YouTube video. Thanks!